This is something that I first heard about and asked myself, is that really a thing? And that's the sign of a good Unbox Therapy video. When I have to question whether or not the product that somebody is pitching me is actually gonna do something that I find to be surprising. Now I'm no scientist. I know it's hard to believe, but there's something I do know about this machine right here. And that is the fact that it can make pure filtered drinking water from the air. Let that sink in for a minute. I'm sure some of your kids don't know out there is there's moisture in the air. If you could only capture that, you'd have all the water you ever needed. Eight gallons of water or 30 liters of water in one single day, that's what it will pull out of the air. It's not plugged into plumbing. You're not putting a, a water tank on top of it. You could use this thing in the desert. You could use this thing off the grid. Ecolo Blue, water from air. Let's crack this open. Whoa. Fancy. Whoa. It's equipped with a 12 stage water from air filtration system. It includes carbon filters, a mineral filter, a reverse osmosis membrane, a post carbon filter, and three Philips UV sterilization lamps. Depending on your environment, the humidity level, that'll determine how much water you can create. But as I said before, it's up to eight gallons or 30 liters a day that this thing can pull out of the atmosphere. So it looks like, yeah, whoa. These are the various filters here. That's pretty wild. These guys don't only just make at home units like this, but also industrial units that are much bigger than this. Look, it's got an air filter on it. This looks like the UV filter. Okay, so it's been sort of roughly 48 hours since this thing was plugged in. In the early stages, what you actually wanna do with this thing is flush it out with, with normal municipal water. So you, you fill up the back tank where the UV filter is and it kind of flushes it through the system, at which point then it begins to generate water from the air. And the thing that I noticed immediately was that its ability to generate water is highly dependent on how humid your environment is. Roughly 48 hours, it was able to get a full tank. Now that tank is about 30 liters, so it's a lot of water. Now it should be obvious that this thing uses electricity. So it's not like you're getting this water for free, you're having to pay to run this machine. So there is a cost associated with that. A couple of other cool things about this particular machine is that it can do both cold and hot. So it has refrigeration as well. And you can see on the front here, you have a cold button and a hot button. Another thing I realized is you can connect carbonation to this. If you like some bubbly water, as I like to call it, you can hook up a canister in here, which will actually give you a third option beyond just cold and hot. You can now add carbonation for a little bit more of a treat. This indicator will let you know when the system is actually generating water. These raindrops will be falling down. It'll tell you when you need to replace filters. It'll also tell you how much water you have in both the bottom tank and the top tank. So this system down here is responsible for giving you that clean solution. Sediment, pre-carbon, membrane, mineral filter, post carbon. By the time your water is through here, there's nothing left in it that could be a contaminant. So, what do you say, Jack? Should we give it a taste? Hold this button on the cold. Your nice, clear glass of water. Hmm, also cold. And I gotta say, it's pretty amazing. I'm drinking something that was trapped in the air, which is now in my glass. I know to some, Scientists in the crowd, you're like, what's the big deal? Yeah, of course there's moisture in the air. But the idea of a machine like this that can, can sit in your office and you're not lugging any water in here, it's pretty amazing to actually experiment with. From a cost to performance ratio, this isn't like magical. It's There's still a cost associated with it that you should be aware of. But I think as an alternative, as a backup, and to service places that might not have access or to avoid the abundance of bottles of water, you know, the whole, ecosystem that exists there for waste and so on, that's really where this thing comes in. I think this is for anybody who wants a self-sustaining 
water production system, anyone who's off the system, who doesn't have municipal water, access to water in places that are deprived of water, places like the West Coast, in cottages, it, it would be awesome to have these up there where you might be concerned about the, the quality of water. But if you can find a way to get power to these, there it is, you have clean water now to enjoy. I thought it was cool. I think you might think the same. Water from nothing, water from the air, Ecolo Blue. Check them out. This is not the only machine they make. And who knows? This might be the future of water right here.